we're back at the studio this week. Today is a YouTube filming day. Um, we dedicate an entire day for it. It does take quite a while. Uh, so I thought I'd show you a little bit behind the scenes of that. And today we're making... A classic roast pork with crackling. A little bit of mustard mash, mustard seed mash, some braised cabbage and apple sauce. One of my favourites. And why did you decide to make this one? Because I think universally people like crispy pork skin. Well, not universally, but a lot of the world likes crispy pork skin. So I thought I'd share my tips and trips on how I get crispy crackling. How crispy? Well, ask me in three hours. Tell us what camera you're filming, how you set up All right, the space so. just to make it. Let's start. Andy friendly. By over here. I'm like, what's that like creature that has eight arms and legs? That's pretty much me. No, I'm An not. An octopus. You <laughs> fool. Something like that. Um, main camera, all audio. Do they not want to know what it is? A7S3 with a 2470 2.8, if that means anything to anyone. Um, B camera, A7R5 with a 24105 because it's image stabilized. A7 III on a gimbal if I um, just want to one-up Caitlin and not have shaky footage. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got a top-down camera up here um, for kind of those interesting, would you call them interesting shots? I don't know, a bit more technical um, type stuff. Yeah. Just if these shots don't do justice for what we need, then that's when we'll use that. Today there's a GoPro over there, just kind of capturing a bit of stuff, which you're probably watching right now. Boom mic lapel for this guy yeah tell us what about the they? sun over here the sun yeah amaran 200x here with the big dome another one on this side and then a smaller p60c i made up no i didn't make that up but that's what it is i don't actually know how how good of a light it is tripods if i need them so i don't get shaky camera a couple of sound blankets just so it's not so echoey first brand deal i did for andy cooks i absolutely cooked the audio slash didn't record the audio at all. And what would normally take maybe two to three hours back in the day, took me like two and a half days because I had to go and make all these sounds for the hot pot. So I don't know if it'll get linked, but it's, it turned out pretty good. Um, yeah, I was on damage control for a little. Anyway, like 10 minutes ago, I checked the audio. I haven't done the proper audio check before and I plugged the output into the headphone jack, so I could have cooked today. And my setup's pretty simple. It's just a step ladder and a <laughs> laptop but I will double as backup camera person on this main one to make sure the audio doesn't absolutely skits itself, hopefully. Um, and more just prompt Andy, so help him with a bit of intro so he doesn't just blabber on. Then also we've got to do a separate intro for Facebook because um, that's short and sharp. And then prompt him a little bit through it. I'm not a cook at all. So if there's a question I want to know, we might ask, like Mitch and I might ask it and that might be a topic he talks about in the middle of the video. Um, unlike today, normally I have prompts and things I want to know during it, but today I'm just going to wing it because I've been busy. And then when we get towards the end, we'll do the same thing for the outro. So we'll do a YouTube outro where we'll tell you to like and subscribe, which you should do to this vlog, by the way. But thank you very much. I also like it. <laughs> With the whole pork in front of you, like, yeah, sure. heck yeah, crackling's the best. I bet you get this crackling right now. Huh? If you, you screw you it up. You literally can't afford I to mean, not get it right. It's Daz's birthday today. Happy birthday. Oh, uh, everyone say happy birthday Hi. to Daz. Thank you so much. Uh, just kidding. To you. Happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> is it true this is the first birthday you've ever worked? It's my first birthday I've worked in seven years. Years. Oh, but we're so and I'm super appreciative that <laughs> it feels like a normal day. I just love that. Can I just say, Daz, that is outrageous <laughs> that you've gotten to 32 uh, uh, years I will say, and never worked a birthday. 32? You told me you were 21. <laughs> Since it's Daz's birthday, I have popped out to buy her some cake. She did expect a cake from Andy. He's not making cake, he's making pork. Probably be more delicious to be honest. Dad has a new toy because she was sick of clapping. If you wonder why we do it, it's to synchronize the clips. Andy doesn't go. 
<laughs> and then the audio happens up. Yeah. What's the date? Oh, I'm gonna do it it's your birthday. birthday. Oh. Oh my god. Who put that there? What's better than crispy pork with that beautiful crackling skin on the top and delicious apple sauce? Not much in my opinion to be honest. And if weather's finally turning here on the sunny coast, like 24 degrees. So I'm going to show you today how to make delicious roast pork with crispy skin and some awesome garnishes to go with it. Let's get stuck in. Good, but one more time. Can we just say juicy roast pork, crispy crackling apple sauce and delicious sides, a winter classic. Let's get stuck in. It's kind of a medium low heat. I'm going to cook that so it all caramelizes and goes nice and brown before we puree it. And that's our apple butter. Couldn't be simpler. So chiffonade as we Cut things quite finely, including my finger. What's happened here? I've cut myself. Why? I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> didn't you? It's a, quite an inconvenience halfway through a shoot. So we can see babes being put to work? Yeah. yeah. I cut myself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're back and uh, full transparency, I did cut myself. Cleaned it up, nurse floody sorted me out. We're good. Alright, we're halfway through the shoot. Well, we... More than halfway, I reckon. More than halfway? Yeah. What are we waiting on? The pork. But it's looking good. Come have a look. Sneak peek. Sneak peek. Decent crackle. Just waiting for the internal temperature. And then we're done. Alright, so how do you decide what you're going to make for a YouTube video? Oh, good question. Um, is a couple of different things. It's like... Off, sometimes we do, if we do a really viral short format, we'll do uh, YouTube on that because um, clearly the, uh, the audience is interested. Sometimes it's just because I want to eat it <laughs> or Caitlin wants to eat it uh, or someone wants to eat it. Uh, and other times we kind of just look at trends and kind of what's in season and stuff. It's tricky though because a lot of our audience is uh, in North America and the UK so our seasons are different. Um, so often making winter dishes where it makes sense here doesn't make sense for our main audience. So it is tricky to find a balance between that. If you ever want something to me to do a long format video on a recipe, then leave it in the comments. And you never know your luck. Well, I'm writing. But the pork itself looks really nice. Yeah, it does look good. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Like if it's just something... I feel like there's too much square going on. So. Yeah. Tell us about your <laughs> photography setup here, Mitch. Um, <laughs> under the stairs. Under the stairs, so I've got some card for a backdrop because they didn't like the tiles. And then um, on a camping table with an umbrella and a flash <laughs> through a big diffuser <laughs> that I thought was going to be like this big, but it rocked up and it was like two meters tall. Um, yeah, so. Mm. That's all we have space for at the moment, isn't it? Yep. But, but it, it works. works. It works. It works. That's the main thing. You kind of got to look like a little toddler's like stir and stir food. So you're just going to be like holding the pigs and then literally like... Yeah, that'd be good. I think. So just look at that. One sec. Yeah. Come on, you lot. Come eat. I reckon it's like a 9 out of 10. Oh. My only criticism, I only got a little piece. Put the camera now. Ooh. 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 Was I supposed to take that bit? You, can't, you literally can't do better than that. Yes! People say you can't give a 10 because there's always room for improvement, but apart from there being more of it, like I could just like take this whole plate and just catch you guys. Alright. Let's do a back piece. Oh, she's gonna be tough, I can tell. I mean, it's okay. Oh! <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Not being biased, but yeah. I guess I'll give it a 10. Yes! Are you gonna judge yourself? Oh, yeah. Come sure. on in. Apple butter. Oh, cheating. Cheating. Mm. It's good, but there's room for improvement. There's some spots that aren't quite perfect. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Whoa. <laughs> now it's our favourite part. 
the eating. Chef, can I that something to get my... Don't let your fingers. Please. Can't resist. <laughs> so it's... More? More, please. How hungry are we? We're hungry. So this food never goes to waste. Oh, I don't want that. Always our crew meals. Alright, Daz, I know we made you pork instead of cake. Stop it, I was just thinking, my God, I'm full. Now, Mitch, you have to sing. And Andy. <laughs> Happy birthday to Daz. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Speech, speech. speech. Um. I want to thank my employer. <laughs> I want to thank my boss for making me come in today. <laughs> uh, pretty much create a new project in Premiere Pro. We'll have a bunch of different folders or different bins for the different cameras that we're using. Um, drop a bunch of well, all the footage into the timeline and then I'll synchronize all the other clips to go with it from B camera, C camera, D camera type thing. Uh, try and make sure all the audio is all gravy and then I'll get into actually cutting up the video. Um, just trying to tell the story in an aesthetically pleasing way that's easy to understand um, and yeah, kind of engaging so that people don't fall asleep. And like, it, it can be pretty stressful trying to get everything done um, with tight turnaround times, but it's I don't know, it's a pretty good feeling when it's the edit's finally done and exported. Can you show us a little bit of your timeline? A camera, B camera, C camera, top line will be the footage that I'm actually using. So that way I can scrub through the clip. Um, if I don't like that shot, I can jump up and see what the top down camera looks like or can check B camera whether that's on a gimbal or a tighter shot. Um, and just try and keep it engaging. Good morning, and on today's channel of what did we do after a YouTube's filmed? <laughs> um, okay, so when the dish has been cooked, we take a bunch of photos. Next step is taking the photos, and then once I've picked a favorite, I put it in this template. So typically these four are just plain white, and I have all the fonts we use, the arrows we use, any pictures, all that kind of stuff is all over here. So the colorways are always accurate. Um, and then we drag some photos in and we just have a bit of a play of where the uh, text will sit. These are the four best ones I could come up with. They've got to be catchy title, uh, sorry, catchy text, short and sweet, you don't want it too long. Crispy is crackling is like the longest I would ever want to go. Um, and then once I've picked a favorite, I pull them out, I stick them in the Dropbox, and um, ultimately Andy picks his favorite, but I've listed them in the order, and normally I get my way, which is nice. Um, not only that, uh, we also have to do, I do the title and I do the description. So I'll run through a couple of title options. Um, I'll normally pick my favorite, stick my favorite in bold, and then we just, descriptions are really simple, we just put the key facts in there. Um, but we want the title to really catch. Uh, we want it to be catchy, but we also want it to be search engine optimized. So yeah, so now it's all done. Mitch has finished his edit. I've done this. I'll work on the next one. It's done. Kind of weird uh, uploading from a different city trying to get the time zones right, but it's now live. Get you. <laughs>